So this new tool is the absolute best for all architecture students and let me show you why. First of all, it's fully web-based so you do not need to download anything. It means that you do not need to spend thousands on a high end computer because it basically works in everything out there. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. So first of all, this is something that I've created right here and it's all in one place. You can draw, you can do renders and by the way, look at the quality of the renders that you can create inside this tool. This is fresh, this just came out and I would highly advise you to jump on this right away. I'm gonna show you how to use it in just a second. So over here, as you can see this dark gray background is basically like the table right and then if you actually want to get a paper or a canvas where we're drawing we can go here at frame and we can start with one point and another one and then over here we can choose the format let's just choose a4 for now right and then over here we have all the basic tool like CAD tool but a lot faster by the way so the drafting is a lot faster and better than in AutoCAD which is basically what all architecture students learn in the university uh, but instead we're going to use this wall tool so for example we can start by basically drawing a wall we click once to start the point and we can click another time to end it so let's do uh, I guess 4.5 meters by four meters we click enter and then we can go ahead as you can see how it snaps immediately and we can draw a small little room right here then i'm going to select the walls i'm going to do i guess 0.2 meters so 20 centimeters in them and now we have basically just a small little rectangular room then we can go here at the wall we can add an opening just like this so instead of having to draw everything manually like in CAD or having to download we can basically drag and drop this we can swing it on the opposite side or we can even make it egress on the other side right so now we have the walls the doors and now we can also add a floor texture to do that we can basically go to wall right here we can choose the room and then we can just click once inside this area and now you can see it calculates the area automatically and we can obviously rename this as well if we wanted to so we can just name this bedroom so this is going to be our bedroom we click on the bedroom once again we can go to styles here and now we can choose a texture for the whole room so for example we can choose something which is real like a, a real life texture so these are like towels or we can choose for example this herringbone flooring and we can lower its opacity to something like this we can increase it in size or for example rotate it for 45 degrees to something similar we can select the bedroom and send it to the back that way the actual door is visible or we can even select the door let's make the stroke a bit darker and we can just make all of these 0.8 and now the door is visible as well then instead of having to draw everything manually like in AutoCAD, we can just go here at this asset library, we can go ahead and find a bed. We can increase this in size very easily. This is not up to the real scale as we need it to the room. We can place it over here and then we can either leave this bench or delete it. We can also add windows the same way we added a door. We can just add a door for now. And the type of opening, instead of leaving a door, we can leave it at window. And then we can just increase it in size to something like this, right? So this could be the window of our bedroom. We can also very easily choose the rectangular tool right here to draw a wardrobe. So we can click once on the starting point and then we can leave it at 60 centimeter width. Um, we can fill this with a solid color just like this. And then we can just divide it in two with a polyline right here. We can choose the polyline or just a line and just draw an X symbol for the wardrobe. So this is basically how easy it is to draw and how much faster it is to draw and how much better it looks than actual AutoCAD. If you want to, we can even stylize this further. So for example, we can select the canvas. And I just did a quick bedroom, but you can do this any scale and every size, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. Uh, so basically we can just make the canvas uh, dark gray. We can choose and select all the walls. We can select all of the walls. And we can make the walls, for example, even darker black and then make the stroke uh, completely white and even increase the stroke size to something like this if you wanted to use another graphic language in this sense. And this is how you manually draw. Basically, you can change even the color of everything. Once again, much faster than AutoCAD. However, here's where it gets absolutely crazy with AI. If you go right here at the camera tool, we can click once on the camera and another time where we want the view to be and it will create a 3D visual uh, for us, which is gonna be absolutely real scale. I'm gonna show you exactly how. So. I'm gonna keep the camera selected. I'm gonna type in bedroom in Chicago high rise apartment, luxurious. Uh, we can basically type in the prom bar and we can say uh, dawn time, very cozy lighting, right? And then we can send. By the way, pro tip, if you want better prompting, Always try to specify a place. I just did Chicago right here. Any type of place that you wanna get an atmosphere off, it will help with the overall output. And now, 
it has generated a bedroom for us, which is absolutely real scale. So the length of this wall and the length of this wall is absolutely real scale here in the render. It has added a corner there and that's because we haven't closed the wall here correctly, but even the window size is the correct size. So in just one click, we can go from floor plan to actual render without having to 3D model texture or do lighting. And the crazy cool part about this is that if I select this, then I can test multiple options. So I can say, uh, make all walls deep navy blue. I can click send. And then I can say, um, make all walls olive green. And I can click send. And now we will have two options side by side in 9.8 seconds, by the way, which is absolutely crazy. We'll have both options side by side to compare which one we which one we actually want. This is Synapse.app, by the way, and if you go in the first link below, you can sign up for absolutely free, and you will also get 600 free AI credits for you to use right away. So now we have both options to compare, so the deep navy blue and then the olive wall colors. None of these really match that well in terms of colors, but it's just to show that you can test things out. Now we can go even further. We can select this, we can say, add recessed indirect ceiling LED lighting strips, right? And then we can click send and then this will create something for us, right? So just by typing, you can test design options that it saved a lot of time. Plus on top of this, if you click this share button, you can invite other team members or colleagues of yours and work on the same file. And this works even with larger projects with stuff that I've done right here for you as an example to show even elevations, interior renders, and exterior renders like this, which in my opinion is absolutely crazy. And there we go, it actually added the strip lighting for us just like we wanted it to. Now I'm gonna show you how we can actually import real furniture that we found online. So for example, if I just go here at Google and I can type in Ikea bed with transparent background, right? I'm gonna click send. If I go to images, I can choose any bed right here. So for example, um, I don't know, let's just choose this one. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna save this as an image. Then we can just keep this frame selected. We drag and drop the image right on the prompt bar and can say, replace the bed with this one. We click send. And in just a few seconds, we'll see how it will actually replace the image with a bed that we attached right on the prompt bar. Boom. So now in 9.8 seconds, it has replaced the bed from this to this just by attaching something. And you can also do this with materials. We can say replace all walls with this wallpaper. And I've attached this wallpaper right here. I'm going to click send. And in a few seconds, we should see that replaced. Now, if you thought that this was it, it's about to get a lot crazier. It actually replaced the wallpaper as well. It zoomed in a little bit, uh, which might be a bug of the AI, but you can see that it actually does everything as we're telling it. So we're designing by words, not even drawing ourselves, which brings us to the next thing, the AI floor plan generation that this AI tool has. So right here, if I go even closer, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a frame just like we did earlier. Let's do an A4 frame. Now, in order to generate floor plans with AI, we just need a boundary. So if you wanna create a two bedroom apartment, we just have to have the boundary of the correct size in terms of the amount of bedrooms that we want. So if you want a two bedroom apartment, we can draw something like uh, nine by, I don't know, eight. So let's click enter and now we have this boundary. While we keep this selected, all we do is that we toggle to the floor plan generation. We can type in two bedroom apartment and in about four seconds, it's going to generate, it did it that even faster. It basically generated this for us. Uh, the bathroom might be a bit bigger than we needed to, and this is not perfect by any chance, but with just a few tweakings, like, you know, just getting the windows inside the wall just by dragging like this, it is actually pretty good and it allows us to iterate a lot faster and not draw all of the walls manually, right? So let's just delete this completely. And honestly, it's not that bad because the entrance is here. We can have an open kitchen right here. We can, you know, play around with the walls. It's fully editable, by the way, which I think is super, super cool. And it's the only tool that allows you to create floor plan generation like this, right? So it is super fast. We can also import the furniture like I just showed you for the other one. So we can just add, for example, a dining table here. You can probably just arrange the bathroom somewhere else and modify it as you need it to. And you can try this out with different sizes, by the way. It doesn't work with only a two bedroom apartment. So we can do a one bedroom. So for example, we can do seven by nine meters and we can type in one bedroom apartment. 
and we click send and in just, I don't know, three seconds, we should have something like this laid out for us. So it's super quick and we can do even something bigger like, um, I don't know, nine by 14. We can type in three bedroom apartment and it should generate something for us right away, just like it did right here. So this is the best tool for any architecture student right now to try and get caught up with all the new AI features. Try to test it out. It's super simple. It's free to get started. It's on the web, so you do not need to spend money in a high-end computer. Plus, you can collaborate in real time with multiple people on the same file. So if you want to see more on what this tool is capable of, go ahead and watch the video right here.